Yesterday, members of our prosecution team, standing to my right, and I presented evidence in court towards establishing our burden of uh, probable cause at a preliminary hearing on the Club Q shooting. This morning, Judge McHenry uh, found probable cause to support all charges in this case and bound the defendant over for trial. So that's one of the things that the court addressed with defense today, whether they would be pursuing a not guilty by reason of insanity plea. Uh, It's too too early to determine whether that will happen or not. Um, I try to refer to that person as the defendant. Uh, If there have been any slips on that, that's unintentional. For my purposes, I like to say the defendant because it just makes it very clear who I'm speaking about. Uh, But any other slips of that is unintentional entirely. Whether I believe uh, he's non-binary or not doesn't really have any impact on how we're prosecuting this case. There was testimony that people had said that the defendant's mother identified as non-binary and that the defendant had never identified as non-binary prior to that. Uh, And that's really the extent of it. Um, The non-binary issue as it relates to the defendant himself never came up, uh, at least publicly, until we got into the court process.